Apple's September event is usually a big one, and we expected more from the company here than normal. We expected new iPods, new iPads, maybe new MacBooks, a new look at Mavericks, the OS X operating system. But really what we got was two things. Well, first, we got a good look at iOS 7, the company's new mobile operating system, which the company has a long way to go before it's really explained to users, and especially old users, why it's great. But we saw some of the new apps, some of the new services, and it's coming next week, whether you like it or not. The two new things we saw were phones. First, the iPhone 5C, the new cheaper, I say cheaper because it's not really cheap, it's $99 on contract, but it looks just like the iPhone 5 in a new shell. It comes in five colors, blue, red, yellow, green, and white. And it's a plastic back. It feels a lot better than some of the plastic phones we've seen, but it still feels a lot more like a toy than the cold metallic iPhone 5. From the camera, to the processor, to everything else, it's just like the iPhone 5 with a new case on it. And there are even new cases for the iPhone 5C, which also look really cool. But again, you're just basically putting plastic on plastic at that point. The other phone, Apple's new flagship device, is the iPhone 5S. It's $199 on contract, it's replacing the iPhone 5. And like most of the S updates we've seen, it's not a huge aesthetic change. Most of what's new is under the hood. There's a new processor, the A7, plus the new M7, a motion processor, which allows it to do a number of new things. But the biggest changes are in the home button of all places. It's a little shallower, it's still clicky, but what it has now is a fingerprint sensor embedded. So you can open your phone, you can buy things all just by tapping your finger on the sensor. It's super secure because it's your fingerprint, but it gives you a whole range of options that you wouldn't have had otherwise. This is what we expect from S updates. It looks the same, it's just as thin, it's just as light. It comes in new colors, silver and gold and space gray, whatever that means. But the big changes here are things you hopefully won't see, except iOS 7, which you'll most definitely see. It's $199, it's coming out on carriers in countries around the world, and it's very much Apple's new flagship phone. iOS 7 is a much bigger change than anything else that's come before it, but the iPhone 5S is really more or less what we expected, and that's really the story here. We basically knew all of this going in. Everything had been leaked to death. Apple says it's doubling down on secrecy, but then all of this was out there before the event ever started. Elvis Costello was a surprise, so that was something. At this point, we're really looking towards October. There's still a lot left for Apple to do this fall. We're still looking to see the new software on more devices. We got a quick look at iOS 7 on an iPad, but still haven't seen much. We're still waiting for Mavericks. We're waiting for new MacBook Pros, and we're waiting for lots more. We're still waiting for that Mac Pro too. So really at this point, we're waiting for October.